Okay, so now in this new tutorial, we're going to be creating our painted wall concrete material. So this material is going to be used for a variety of reasons. So in our case, we're going to be using it for our building. So this is the final result that you're going to be able to achieve by the end of this lecture. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start by deleting everything. So A to select everything, hit X, remove everything. And over here, let's make some room. And I'm going to be switching this one to the shader editor. So after that, I'm going to hit uh, Shift A and let's search for a plane like this just so that we can display our material. Over here, I'm going to be creating a new material and let's call it concrete. You can also do it from here. Go to this icon and create a new material from this plus icon. So our first step is going to be some Voronoi texture. So Shift A, search for a Voronoi. So we're going to be adding some distortion to this texture over here using some noise. So Shift A, search for noise texture like this and let's apply it. I'm going to be applying it to the vector like this. Also, we can go ahead and connect this one to the base color over here hit Z and switch the material preview. So now you can see our material. So what I'd like to do right now is to switch this one from the F1 to the smooth F1 because I don't want to have these sharp uh, ends. So I'm going to be switching this one to the smooth F1 and basically that's it. So after that, let's uh, play with these settings. So I'm going to take this details to 16 like this. And also for this scale, let's set it to just 2.5. After that, I'd like to add some uh, color ramp. So shift A, search for a color ramp, just so that we can control our uh, puddles over here. And so basically this first map over here is for the, the destructions, the concrete destructions. So I'm going to take this one to the side like this. So basically these are going to be our holes. You can also, I, I think I'm going to be inverting these. Take this one to the other side and yeah, let's see something like this also we can go ahead and connect this one to our normal map so first i'm gonna hit shift a search for a bump bump node like this and let's connect the color to the height and this height over here i'm going to be connecting the normal to the normal okay so now you can see our material displayed so we need to do some tweakings so let me play with these yeah so basically this is what i want i want to have this kind of uh, destructions on our concrete so our next step right now is to add some noise on this surface. You can see over here that we're having some flat and 100% perfect uh, surface. So we need to add some noise to it. So for that, I'm going to be uh, shift A, search for noise again, noise texture. And after that, we need a mix RGB. So shift A, search for a mix RGB like this. Yep, we can put it on top of that just so that we can see it displayed in our color ramp. So I'm going to take this color number one and let's connect it to the color number one. And this one's going to be automatically on color number two. So we're not able to see much. Let me increase that scale. Yeah, you can see that you can see some back noise. Let me zoom over here. You can see some back noise go going on on the back. But over here, what I'd like to do is to switch this one to the multiplier. Multiply. Let me go back. And I'm going to take this factor all the way to one. So basically over here, we're forcing Blender to display both of these maps. So over here, let me increase this one. I'm going to increase it to 10. And for the details, let's take it to 16. Nice. So we are not able to see those details because we're not using this map as our normal map. So I'm going to grab these. Also shift this one, hit G to move it to the side. And let's take this one and connect it to the height. So now we must see uh, those new noisy details. There we go. So, but we need to make some tweakings. So let me go back over here and shift A, search for a color ramp again. I want to reduce the strength of this noise. So for that, we can do this. We can select this uh, first color like this, click on it, and let's make it less and less dark. Something like this. So now you can see that we'll start having these subtle bumps. So this is exactly what we want. Okay, so we got this. So our next step is going to be to work on our base color. So for that, again, let's use a color ramp. So basically this color ramp is the most use, used node in our uh, work over here. So basically over here we're going to need three colors. First it's going to be a gray color. After that we need a white color. And the third is going to be some yellow color to display our uh, concrete uh, color. Okay, so over here let's make this one gray. Gray like this. Our second color let's make it completely white. Keep it that way. And let's add this one over here. Going to move it to the side. And let's make this one, let's give it, for example, this color. All right, so now let's make some tweakings. So I'd like to tighten these, these two notes. 
so what I want you to do is to keep tweaking these uh, these hooks over here, keep moving them backward and forward until you, catch, you can achieve some nice results. Also make sure to tighten those uh, gray and white, white values so that you can get some uh, nice interesting outcomes. Okay, so this is for our colors. You can always go back over here and control this, uh, this, these destructions over here by simply changing this position of these, these things over here. So if you tighten these like this, you will have less and less of those holes. Okay, so now our next step is going to be to add the, the roughness. So basically the roughness controls the reflection of our material. So before doing that, I would like to make sure that we are uh, using the node wrangler. So on the add-ons, make sure that you are using this node wrangler, this one over here. Just so that we can have access to these shortcuts like control shift and click. So basically you can see this map displayed using this viewer over here. So what I'd like to do instead is to use a color ramp. So shift A, search for a color ramp. This one, and let's put it on top of that. And I'd like to tweak it. So basically these black spots are going to be completely glossy, which uh, which is not the case in our real life. So I'd like to invert these like this. And for this black color, let's make it less and less black. Okay, something like this. Yeah. Also for this one, let's make it, yeah, let me make it like this because we don't want it to be too much glossy. So control shift and let's go back to our principal BSDF and let's see. So you can see it's still, look, it's still looking glossy. So we can go always back over here and let's make it white. So if you make it, oops, we are not using it as our color ramp, our, as our roughness. So connect the color to the roughness and there we go. So now we need to control this one. So let's make it less white like this a little bit glossy okay also i don't want to make it look too much bumpy you can see it over here so we need to reduce that bumps you can, so you can go back over here to this strength set for example to 0.75 also what i'd like to do is to display our material on a sphere so shift a search for mesh it's gonna be a uv sphere right click smooth uh, shade smooth and let me choose that material which is the concrete so now you can see our material nice and clean. Also, let me hide this one. So basically, this is our concrete material. You can always go back over here and reduce control the bumps if you find it strong a little bit. For the for these small details, we can, for example, do this. It says, for example, to 0.95 so that we can have subtle bumps. Okay, so basically that's it. This is our material. So now it's time to assign it to our building. Okay, so now let's assign our material to our building. So over here we're having the default material. I'm gonna be adding the new one, which is the concrete. So let's select that concrete. And over here on the edit mode, I would like to exclude some faces. So over here in our, in our reference. So we need basically to exclude this garage. Same thing on the other side and also for these windows. So I'm gonna hit Ctrl E to reverse selection, just like this. And let's go to concrete and hit assign. All right, so this is what we got. So I'm gonna hit U and choose the skew projection so this is our uvs we can also scale them up i think we need to scale them up so s2 let's see yeah something like this looks fine i also did this i tried to reduce that number of uh, destructions that we have in our building so instead of having something like this that looks really weird so i tried to do it like this okay so that's it so this is for our uh, concrete material